Hey everyone, today we're talking about how to solve systems of equations in four minutes. There are three main ways to solve systems of equations, graphing, substitution, and elimination. Before we get started, like and subscribe for more math videos. Let's go. In order to solve systems of equations through graphing, you first need to rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. For the first equation, let's subtract x from both sides and divide by negative 2. For the second equation, let's subtract 3x from both sides and divide by negative 2. Next step, let's graph. For the first equation, we'll plot the y-intercept, which we already know is this plus 1 since it's in slope-intercept form. Now, use the slope to plot the second point. From here, the rise is positive 1, so let's go up 1. And the run is positive 2, so let's go to the right by 2. Now, connect the dots to get the full line. We'll do the same to our second equation. Step number three, you'll notice that our line crosses at the point 2, 2. So this is actually our answer, x equals 2 and y equals 2. In order to solve systems of equations through substitution, you first need to solve for one of the variables. Obviously, choose the one that's easiest to solve for. I see here that we can easily solve for x in the first equation because there's no coefficients, no mess. Just add 2y to both sides of the equation and you'll get x equals negative 2 plus 2y. Next up, substitute what you just got into the other equation. You'll end up with this expression when you substitute for x. Let's distribute, simplify, and solve. We'll end up with y equals 2. Final step, plug what you just got back into the equation from step 1. We'll get x equals negative 2 plus 2 times 2 and end up with x equals 2 when we simplify. That's again our final answer, x equals 2 and y equals 2. Last method, elimination. In order to solve systems of equations through elimination, you first look at the two equations and choose either x or y to eliminate. For the variable you choose, you have to make the coefficients or the number in front of the variable the same in both equations. Here we got lucky and both equations already have negative 2y, so I'm going to choose y. For some reason, if we chose x to eliminate, we have to multiply both sides of the first equation by 3 so that both equations have 3x. Next up, since both equations have negative 2y, we should subtract the two equations to eliminate the y variable. x minus 3x is negative 2x. Negative 2y minus negative 2y equals 0, which is exactly what we wanted to do we've eliminated the y variable, and negative 2 minus 2 equals negative 4. Dividing both sides by negative 2, we'll get x equals 2. Last step, plug in x equals 2 into one of the equations. It doesn't really matter which one, just choose the one that's easiest. I'll do the first equation. Simplifying, you'll get y equals 2. So again, that's our answer, x equals 2 and y equals 2. Thanks for watching this crash course on solving systems of equations. If this was helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more math videos. See you in the next one.